Welcome back, everybody. Last time, we saw the three higher order functions map, keep, and combine. And this time, we're going to use them together to compose them to create a program, or to at least an expression here, to do the acronym. So I'm going to give this expression a sentence, like the United States of America, and the output of that expression should be the acronym of it, which is USA. If I give it University of California at Berkeley, I should get back UCB. So here I am thinking about how to start. And normally what you do is you try to explain the algorithm just in, in the air. So how would you do it? Well, let's see how to take the United States of America and make USA. Well, probably first you cut out all the small words. So you get United States of America. And then you probably have to take the first letter of each of those, and that's U and S and A, and you kind of got to smush them together into USA. And in fact, each of those three steps happens to map perfectly to one of our three high order functions. So the first thing we did was we removed the small words. So that's a keep. So let's go and pull up a keep. And the argument to the keep is going to be our sentence to list, which if we click on it here and bring this guy down, what we'll see is this is now a nice block because it takes the sentence and converts it to a list in which each of the words is a single piece, single item in the list. So now I have a five item list. So that's the input to keep. So let's see what we can do to just try to filter out all the small words. We're going to keep things such that what? What's the case? What's the predicate here? Well, such that it's not a the or an of, it's not an article. Well, we'll do a cheap way which is, what if we said, let's only keep the long words, okay? So how do you test how long a word is? Remember, each of the L items in that list is gonna be passed in one-to-one -to, -one to this predicate. So we wanna see maybe the length of that. So let's see, the length of the word, yeah, they're gonna need that block, and maybe greater than something. So let's see, let's see, the length of, put that here, the length of, whoops, put that here, the length of the word is, greater than, say, three, okay? Greater than, keep the ones that are bigger than three. So we'll remove all the small words that are three or smaller. Let's drag it into here. And now, let's see if this works. Keep items such that the length of that word is bigger than three. So we go through here. Well, the is not greater than three. It happens to be equal to three. So that'll be gone. That'll be removed. United, that'll be kept. That's bigger than, that length is bigger than three, as is states, as is America. Let's give that a shot. Let's try that first, and let's make this a little bit bigger. And now, look at this. We see that we have a beautiful first step in our expression, United States America. The next step is to take that result. We could save it in a temporary variable, or we could just take that as the input to the next higher order function, which we knew was something that goes for each of those words, the ones that are now remaining, we got to just strip off all but the first letter. So what do we have here? Oh, look at this block, letter one of some word. So that means the output of this keep is going to be the input to this next higher order function, which is map. Let's take the keep and drag it right over there. Yoink, it gets a little bit bigger. Don't worry about the size, it'll just work out. So how are we mapping over? Well, letter one of, let's try that. Okay, drag that in here and let's see if that works. Make some room for combine. So map the letter one over the result of the keep. Remember that this last expression was United States America, each on a different list item. Let's try this now. And what we get is, oh, let's, this is like the drum roll, please. <gasps> USA. We start chanting that now. USA, USA. All right. So now we've got that. How do we smush them together? How do we take U and the S and an A on different items in a list and put them together? There's our combiner. So just as we saw before, this is going to cascade or be composed beautifully, and that's going to be the input to our combiner. And we'll drag that up, make some room for it. And what's our combiner's? We need a combiner here. Well, when you're dealing with words, you typically use join. When you're dealing with sentences, you use join words. When you're dealing with numbers, you usually either add or multiply them together. Let's drag this right over here now. Join. Okay, so let's see if we can read this together. Combine with join the items of this map. And we know this before was U, S, and A, again, as one per item in a three-element list. Let's try this now. U, 
USA, USA. All right. So experiment with this on your own and see if you can repeat what I just did. Think about what would happen if you switched two of these. What would that do? Think about common phrases that have some of the key words even smaller than three letters. And how do you keep those and not keep others? And think about how to do that. So there's a way to, there's, a, there's certainly a space to explore this, but this is a great first start to seeing if we can get a composition of three higher order functions, all three. This is a great example to show what you can do with the power of higher order functions. Do you see any list uh, manipulation indexes that you have to create like a script variable and initialize and increment? No. Try writing this without higher order functions and see how much of a pain it is. This is why we really, really love higher order functions. It hides the abstract, it abstracts away all of the gory details of having to traverse the list and remember that you are incrementing it and hope you forgot to increment. It's now going to be an infinite loop. All of those problems are gone because the meat of the work is done by the combined map and keep written by somebody else. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll see you next time.